otherwise spacious women. Hello, everyone. Um, we want to bring um, a, a few tools to you to help you feel so much more connected to something that feels meaningful, something that feels soulful, something that feels alive, like which is kind of the essence of what everyone really wants in life. Um, I was thinking about this yesterday. I was thinking about what what is it that fundamentally people are missing when we feel really flat and we feel like this when we feel like there's something missing, like something essential missing. Like you're just going through the motions, right? It's mm. like, oh yeah, it's plow through today, today's Wednesday, no, no today's Thursday. <laughs> see, <laughs> see, that's what happens, right? You don't even know the difference between your days, but you're just like, oh yeah, what I gotta get done today, that's the mm. And the word that kept coming to me, I think it's one of my favourite words <laughs> ever, is the word sacred. And the reminder that it doesn't actually matter so much what you're doing and what your environment is and like who you're around and like what your tasks are. It matters how connected you are to a sense of the sacred in them. Hmm. So what I mean by that is, say you could be, um, rushing to get your children out the door you could be walking down the street and you could be so far from any sense of sacred in that whole experience and in the world which usually happens when we're up in our head because we're in our minds we're kind of really trapped in a very limited space and we're not connected to what feels sacred Actually, a lot of the women that I've talked to recently haven't even been in their heads. They've actually been slightly out in front of their bodies. Like, right? Like, they're kind of just slightly ahead of themselves and they're not even in their heads. They're, like, not even there at all. They're ahead of themselves, right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, not even in your heads. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it means that we completely miss the sacred that is inherently in all of life. In every moment. Absolutely. And, and I was thinking about how that is one really fundamental thing that in our modern, industrial, civilised, like, culture, we've really lost. Mm. And, and we're actually at the moment really feeling that strong yearning to get back. And we have the whole, like, over the whole time there's been people who've talked about it in, like, it, it's so in spirituality. But in... um. In more ancient cultures and in like those really earth-based cultures, a sense of the sacred was so in intertwined everything. in how they were living. It's like you wouldn't collect water yeah, without, without it. it feeling sacred. Your connection with life just was was sacred. Mm. Sacred was in there. But we've somehow lost that. And well, we've divorced from that, right? Yeah. Like, and not just us, but like as a race over... Um, the last thousand years or so, right, more and more and more divorced from it. I think um, probably with a lot of people turning away and being turned off by the whole religion, mm. which is different to the sacred, yeah, the right? religion can be a very boxed, mind, dogmatic, rule thing that isn't even sacred sometimes. It depends on how you do it. Religion can be sacred. Mm. But so there's been like such a turning away from a sense of sacredness, right? But what we're left with when you pull that out of your life and you divorce yourself from it is this real lack of meaning and colour, right? Karen and I were trying to work out how we would describe that, but it's like everything gets greyed out, right? You're just going through the motions without it having meaning and purpose for you, without your life feeling like it's got meaning and purpose. You're just another cog in the wheel right mm, and that meaning and purpose gives you a feeling of life force energy mm. like, which, which 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 feels like uplifting and energizing and it has you feel gratitude it has you appreciate life yeah which we lose when we're disconnected from that and it's also highly entwined with actually being back in your body right so you can't really feel actually i was listening to a monk 
several months ago speaking about this. It was really powerful. It just came to me right then. He was talking about how you can't have an experience of the sacred and it not automatically throw you into your body, right? Mm -hmm. And he was saying, like, say you're watching an amazing sunset, that moment when you have that awe of, like, whoa, it pushes you straight into your body in that moment, right? So there's that link between um, the sacred well, and anything that we feel is sacred or divine and being back in our bodies and the meaning that that gives to us in our day-to-day -day tasks, right? You know, how many of the, um, you know, Buddhism or even um, the Tao circle of them are like, it's not you chop wood, but how do you chop wood? Or you carry water, but how you carry the water is like important, right? Mm. And, it, and it's even tied to intention. Someone in the group was saying the other day about intention and how I asked myself, what is my intention today and what a profound difference mm -hmm. it made on my day, right? Same thing, intention is pulling you back. We're going to give you some tools in a moment. Back into what is meaningful for you? What is your connection to the sacred in your day, right? What feels sacred to you, okay? Not sacred, like that, to you, what feels sacred. And how can this moment, meaning any moment, be really sacred? Yeah. Because it's not like... Connecting with that means you have to go out and find something and bring it to you. Usually it just means that you need to really bring the sacred into the moment and bring it out of the moment and feel it in the moment because it's already there. Yeah, it's kind of like um, you just show up differently in the moment. It's kind of like that parallel universe thing going on, right? Mm. Yeah, and you can do it for any moment. You know, you can focus on... <laughs> This is a terrible example, but you can focus on the vomiting child who's vomiting all over you, right? Or you can focus on the sacred act of nurturing a sick person back to health and your love for them, right? Mm. And it's just a choice, right? And intention, setting an intention for the day is just a choice. It doesn't take more time or more effort or drain you of energy or anything. And we often dismiss it. We forget it, right? But our choice is incredibly powerful. Mm -hmm. So the first tool that we have for you is simply a question. What is sacred in this moment, in any moment? And bring that question into moments where your mind says, oh, well, there's nothing sacred in this moment. Yeah, this moment especially sucks. do it then. This moment yeah. sucks. There is nothing sacred in doing the <laughs> and also bring it into the really mundane moments, mm -hmm. like the, like like um, brushing your teeth or things that kind of just happen all the time. Bring a different quality of connection to that moment by asking that question, what is sacred in this moment? And really feel what's sacred, be present to what's sacred. And the more that you ask that and the more that you open to it, the more you'll find that, Everything you'll sacred. connect your reconnection to what is sacred for you gets stronger and stronger every time you ask that question of awareness right? and you could ha you could end up having this like profound spiritual experience with a coffee cup like you know like <laughs> so sacred <laughs> it can happen it can happen right? yeah <laughs> totally you have these really powerful days and you can even do it as an immersion day we should talk about immersion days some other time but that yeah, reminded me that's like felicity here in our group today, right, she posted a picture of her, her tattoo, right, which she put on backwards, which I love. I think that's just divine. So perfect. perfect. But that's similar. Right? Her question, so when you join our, like, and work with us in the Spacious Woman program, right, we send you all these loved up gifts because Karen, I love sending loved up gifts. Anyway, one of the things that we send is all these conscious ink tattoos, right, they're temporary tattoos, but they're um, to really anchor in a lot of our core teaching. And that you pick one each week to put on while you're working with this. And Felicity picked at the moment, um, how is this moment perfect? Is that what the one was? Yeah. How is this moment perfect? Okay. How is this moment sacred? And they're kind of a really similar question when you think about it, right? But where is the sacred in this moment for mm. you? And it's like a game you can play with yourself to challenge yourself. It's really powerful to do. My favorite practices by far are those questions. The question yeah, ones. They're so simple. They open you up to a whole different 
like like what Lisa was saying, parallel mm. world. Like you you're suddenly in this world in a whole different reality. Mm. Okay, so first challenge, if you're watching this on replay, because we're doing this at a random time of the day and no one's around, um, I would love you to ask right now, what is sacred in this moment? Or if you want, what was sacred an hour ago? <laughs> but like, and put it in the comments. Like, let's see how many sacred moments there are that exist in every moment of our days. Okay. And, and every single moment can be sacred. Yeah. So keep tuning into it being open to what's sacred in the moment. And the next one is really connected to that and you can actually combine these tools together and they often flow on from each other, one flows onto the next. And we've done a video on this recently, so you've possibly heard about it, is to really receive the moment, to really allow, say, if, if you are um, with a vomiting child, <laughs> <laughs> really receive them and their energy and if like as you're waking up in the morning I was about to say really receiving the sun but I'm looking at the window right now it's raining really receive the energy of the rain of the weather of the day really receive it into your body the more you receive a moment which has an element a big element of being really present to a moment and then letting it in letting yourself in an embodied way really feel it, the more you feel the sacredness in the moment. It's a good example, right? When you <laughs> said something about looking out the window, it's like windy and it's raining. Okay, so in that split second I went, oh, it's raining. And then <laughs> I actually received the moment, right? And I went, oh, it's cozy and yeah. warm today, and right? And there's a, I love the feeling of a wildness yeah. out there. Like so, receiving but that. see how quick, it's just that mindset shift that makes a really big difference, right? So if you are feeling rushed, rushed too, because receiving slows down your day, gives you a more sense of spaciousness, right? But if you're feeling grayed out and flat and like nothing's lifting you, then you definitely need to receive more, right? For sure. And the third tool that we have flows into that as well. Yeah, they're all pretty connected. So the third one is about connecting with what's really important to you. And, you've, and there's always something connected to this moment that is really important to you. Like going back to the vomiting child situation. Connect to... <laughs> I keep using my bad example, but okay. <laughs> it happens to all of us. Um, connect to what is really important to you right now in that moment. Like what are the, the core values that have you really want to be present in this situation, which in that situation are going to be like this immense love for your child. Compassion. Yeah. Care. Patience, no, yeah. right? Like, you know, and if you connect to my patience, my child is like my, cat, my compassion and my patience for this child, you will show up completely differently to, oh, crap. Pull out all this vomit, get the child you know, with the sheets changed, and I can bear, blah, blah, blah. You know, like it's a different experience completely because you're connecting back to what is bringing you meaning, right? And actually, all those values feel really sacred to you. They're your connection back to the sacred in you for your soul, for you, for you this lifetime, right? Mm -hmm. So it's all interrelated, and they're the antidotes to that kind of like. Uh, why am I doing this over and over again, right? It's just same shit, different day. <laughs> mm. this, is the, this is the way to step out of that. And you just have to, like, you'll step out of it immediately if you do any of those three things, mm. any of them, right? And yeah. it accumulates. It builds on itself. So the more you do it, the further and further you get away from same shit, different day. Totally. And as usual with a lot of the tools we share, all these things are really simple, like such simple energetic shifts because on the energy level, when you do something small, it creates really big change, really big ripples. Yeah. So it's available to you. But then also having said that, even though it's really simple, got to we're humans <laughs> and we have resistance and all kinds of shit can come up. So 
there's a whole world of difference between simple and easy and doing action, it. yeah doing it taking action yeah so you'll notice that most of the things we're sharing with you are ways to do the same thing differently right because mm. this is the key we can't add more we're like we're chockers right all of us here we're full right but we have to do it differently and that's the key here so it's good to hear what we're saying do it do it and and share because that's even more powerful for you to lock it in share a small teeny tiny moment when you did it okay not only is it helpful for Karen and I because we want this to be highly interactive we want to be engaging with you it also inspires and supports other women mm. and all of you can hold each other in that and support each other in that with no effort okay and, and okay a little effort you have to write the comment but it actually serves you to anchor that experience in your body through the sharing way more powerful than holding it in your head absolutely and we like take us up on the offer of a conversation with us if you're feeling like you really want to make sure you do these simple small really powerful but sometimes not so easy to implement steps because you get that, clear why that, you're not yeah, implementing the inner work the resistance is a big piece too and that is what we work on in those conversations yeah and we've booked, we've um, created some space for like this a, one, one free conversation for you. Like you, there's no nothing you owe us for that conversation. So check out the booking link if you feel drawn to doing that. And we just have those spots for here inside this community, right? We're not well currently. You know, as Karen and I are very spontaneous people, but we're not currently doing that outside of our close community. Okay. Our community is really important to us. Yeah, we really want to bring the energy into this space, create this space as a, a place of powerful transformation for you. Okay, that's it. This is a long video. We've got to get back to our short videos again. Sorry, guys. Yeah. We're probably <laughs> driving you nuts too long. All okay. Right. See you.